Fiverr versus Upwork, which is the best freelancing platform as of today in 2021. These two platforms help you to showcase your knowledge, your skills, and get paid in return. In this video, I'm going to share with you an unbiased view and approach and the features of these two platforms and let you decide which one is better in 2021. If you're new to this channel, my name is Fritz Zav and I create educational content for learners like you on sales and marketing. Without much further ado, let's begin. In this video, I'm going to talk only about these two platforms from a seller's perspective. So if you are a buyer, then maybe you want to go elsewhere and look up the difference between the two. The first and the prominent point is finding work on these platforms. The way you find work on Upwork is pretty processed, pretty simple, yet very structured. On Upwork, the process is pretty simple, but structured and you can find work using the search bar. Once you put in the query, a list of results pop up. You can also filter work in terms of your categories in which you excel. For example, the skills that you have listed on Upwork that you're trying to sell. Alternatively, you can also save a list. For example, you have made a search query and if you feel that this is exactly the kind of work that I'm looking for, you can save it for future use so that next time you don't have to search from scratch. Then there are filters on the search query which you can use to further drill down in terms of exactly what you are looking for in terms of a project. For example, you have the ability to choose from hourly to fix work to the kind of payment you want, the level of payment you want. For example, something could be as low as $1,000, maybe less than that, maybe more than that. The number of hours you want to give, less than 30 hours per week, more than 30 hours per week. You can also look for buyers who are verified and have done some business on Upwork in the past. In that way, Upwork is pretty much a more structured, has a proper way of looking for jobs. The only difference is that this is a freelancing world. Other than that, you have pretty much everything processed and structured. Once you identify the job that you're interested in, you simply apply using something known as Connects. I'll come to Connects a little later in this video, but let us move on to Fiverr in terms of how can you find work on Fiverr. You see, Fiverr is a platform where buyers primarily look for sellers and not the other way around. However, Fiverr has made an option available to you in terms of how you can look for jobs and apply. There is a section known as buyer's request on Fiverr. In terms of navigation, as you go to the sections above, you see a more section. Click on the section and you'll see a list or drop down from which you select buyer's request. Once you click on that buyer's request, you'll see a list of jobs that might or might not be available to you. So for example, on some days when you go to buyer's request, you might find that stack empty or on some days you'll find 20 to 30 to 40 job requirements. On any given day, Fiverr allows you to apply for up to 10 jobs listed in the buyer request. Well, applying to these jobs is absolutely free. However, you need to apply to these jobs against the gigs that you have mentioned in your profile. The gigs will come to that in a moment, but this is exactly how you apply on Fiverr. So that point covered finding and looking for jobs. The second prominent and relevant point is how do you apply to these jobs? Well, on Upwork, it costs you to apply for these jobs. You need to spend at least two to four to six connects on each job that you want to apply to. As soon as you create your profile on Upwork, the platform does give you certain connects for free to start using and start applying. Once you're dried up, you need to buy those connects from Upwork. These connects cost around 15 cents per connect and 10 connects cost a dollar and a half. 150 connects cost you around $22.50. You can either pay by card or you can also get this amount deducted from the money that you've earned from your account balance on Upwork. Also note that these connects are valid only for up to a year. So if you feel that you can stack these up, that will not work beyond a year. And at max, you can roll over only 200 connects month on month. As for Fiverr, I've already spoken to you that there's only one way to apply for jobs is through the buyer request, which we already covered in the previous point. So is there any other way to apply on Fiverr to get some work? Absolutely not. What you can do is you can maybe share your profile on social media channels and promote via word of mouth. There is another way to get your profile noticed is through SEO and paid ads, but we will not cover that in this video. We just spoke about looking for jobs and applying for jobs. The next point is the structure of work. There are two ways in which Upwork allows you to accept and deliver work. The first one is fixed term contract. The other one is early payment. What happens in a fixed term contract is that you get paid by project. For example, if someone asks you to write five articles for them and submit that in a week's time, you will get paid at once in terms of the finishing of the project. However, there's a little trick that you can use to make sure that you're getting payments in piecemeal. What you can do is you can break this project up these five articles and break them into milestones saying that I will deliver 
let's say one article per day for the next five days and these will be five milestones and so for example the entire project of five article costs 150 dollars and you're charging 150 dollars for this project you can break this down into five milestones of 30 dollars each the good thing is that you can look for early work in terms of basic intermediate and expert level so for example if you are just starting out as a freelancer you want to maybe start off with basic then go to intermediate with some experience and once you have mastered skills you have some good reviews on your profile or maybe you have years of experience behind you in the corporate world you can straight go for expert level so do not hesitate do not worry that if i go for expert level right away whether i will sell or not in short do not short sell yourself or your skills so that was upwork now coming to fiverr what is the work structure on that platform well on fiverr it's pretty simple you do not have early work available at all you have to apply for project-based work and you get paid accordingly. So for example, when you list your gigs, potential buyers will simply go onto your profile and they can place order right away. As soon as they place order, immediately a timer ticks off and then you are supposed to deliver within that set duration. For example, let's say you have uploaded a gig saying that you will provide a high quality logo in one business day. As soon as the buyer places that order, immediately the timer ticks off with 24 hours and the countdown begins you must deliver within those 24 hours as a seller you still have two options to provide to the buyer when it comes to placing an order number one they can simply directly place an order right away without any requirements being shared on the platform number two you can allow the buyer to only place an order once they share the details of their requirement with you this could really work well if you are working on complex gigs or projects for example, one of the gigs could be you will provide high quality website, a new website for your client. Now you want to know certain things before you start working on the website itself. For example, which industry this website will be serving, what kind of customers we are looking at, what kind of styling, what kind of theme we are looking at, whether the buyer wishes to sell products and services on the platform as an e-commerce website. You'll only come to know those details when the buyer shares those details with you in the first place. And so you want to make it mandatory for the buyer to share those details before he or she is able to place that order. Well, that's that. Moving on to the next point, showcasing work. Upwork gives you three options to showcase your work. There is a general profile that you can create and then two profiles or sub profiles on the basis of the specialty you provide in your line of work. For example, let's say your general profile could be you will provide digital marketing services for potential buyers. However, you know that you specialize in SEO as well as website design. In that case, you will provide a general profile with digital marketing services and create two sub-specialty profiles on the basis of SEO as well as website design. Beside these options, there's also another way you can showcase your work. You can use a project catalog in which you can showcase everything that you can do from start to finish as a project and you can charge for the cumulative service. Let me give you an example here. Let's say going back to our example of digital marketing on Upwork. In the general profile, you have mentioned you'll provide digital marketing services. In specialty profile, we have spoken about SEO and website design. So when it comes to a project catalog, you can list in everything that you can do from start to finish in digital marketing and can provide a one-stop shop for the buyer. Of course, in return for the start to finish service, you will charge a different price, a customized pricing based on the task or the work that you're going to complete for the buyer. A project catalog helps you to save a lot of time because it clubs together all the possible services that you can provide to your client. Well, that was about Upwork. Coming to Fiverr, you can create up to 7 gigs as of 2021 for free. So what is a gig on Fiverr? A gig is nothing but the services in terms of the skills you provide, the value you provide to your buyer, you pack it up and showcase it on the platform. What really works for the gigs on Fiverr is that there's a set norm in terms of what all things you must fill in the gig requirement. There are certain things that are mandatory to fill, there are certain things that are optional. You can also add additional services beyond the gig that you can charge for as premium. For example, you have a gig on creating an article for your client. You, now you have mentioned that you will write an article that is 2000 words and you will provide this gig in certain certain time. However, in additional services, you can say I will provide a chart, I will provide references or citations, I will also provide images and you can charge for all of these services as extras. That way you can really upsell your skills on Fiverr. Also the seven gigs that you upload on Fiverr may or may not be related to each other. So for example, you're a multi-talented person and if you have different skills in different fields, you can mention all of those in different seven gigs and still land that particular job. For example, out of the seven gigs, three will be on digital marketing and the remainder four will be on creating online courses. 
Alternatively, you can use all the seven gigs to cover the digital marketing discipline. For example, besides SEO and website design, which we already spoke about, you can add email marketing, social media marketing, digital marketing strategy or marketing plans, or let's say even a consultation call or phone or Zoom or Skype. If you want to post beyond seven gigs, then you have to pay on Fiverr. And as a premium seller on the platform, you should be able to add more gigs. In short, the more gigs you add, the more probability and chances increases in terms of you landing that job. One feature that is available on Fiverr, you can use the analytics section and see how your gigs are faring in terms of impressions, clicks, orders and cancellations. So for example, if you see that a particular gig of yours has multiple or huge volume of impressions, but hardly any clicks, that means you really need to rework on how you are showcasing your gig. Maybe you need to change your thumbnail or maybe the content of the gig itself. So that's it guys, you tell me what platform is best suited for you in terms of Fiverr or Upwork. There are different people who have said different things. For example, there are some of them who say that Upwork is best. There are some who feel Fiverr is best. Again, it really depends on how these platforms have been to you, your experience individually and how much money you have been able to make on these platforms individually. I wanted to keep this video an unbiased view so that I do not share my personal views and you find out for yourself what works and what does not work for you. Well guys, at this point in time, I'm going to ask you to do one of the best things you can do right now is subscribe to my channel, like the video and share this video with as many people as possible who you think can benefit from this video who are freelancers or potential freelancers. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, au revoir.